My name is Steve Kobe. I'm a makeup artist, a massage therapist, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a lover of life. About 10 years ago, I went to beauty school. I didn't know anything about makeup. I actually wanted to be a hairdresser growing up because I used to do my mom's hair and all that. When I went to beauty school, I opted to take up beauty therapy as opposed to uh, hairdressing because I felt beauty therapy had so many skills to impart. So I was like, I can do this. My mom was always the open-minded one because I was told her I, I want to do to be a hairdresser when I, when I grow up or be a chef because I used to love sitting with her in the kitchen and helping her do stuff. But my dad was like, uh, Izonika is our mama, so you, you can't do that. After my, my fourth form, I didn't know what I wanted to do according to society. It was either you become an accountant, a pilot, and I never pictured myself in an office, so I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Many years later, I went to my mom and told her. That, that's after like a two year stint in the insurance industry. I just want to go to do modeling as, as, a, as a course. <laughs> so I took up beauty therapy and my mom was supportive all the way. Back then, the makeup industry didn't have many male makeup artists who were mainstream. The college I was in was doing makeup for insider so I started doing makeup for insider when I actually got into the makeup industry I was working with uh, Suzy Wakabi she's the one who recruited me and trained me it was chemistry at first sight the first gig that I did with her like it was a major gig was Tasca project film I got my first my first payday as, as Steve Kobe <laughs> At the same time I met Wahoo, I did her makeup. We were doing a photo shoot for Kenya Live and she loved the makeup so she was like, there's a, there's a project I'm doing in uh, January, that was the next year, I think 2011. She was going to recommend me for it. In 2011, I get this call from Bangkok or something. And they were like, uh, we are working with a Kenyan celebrity and she recommended you. Now we're going to be shooting something in Turkey and Bangkok, so uh, we need you to get your passport ready and, and everything. So I was so excited, I didn't know what to do. Knowing that I don't even have a passport at that time, <laughs> I had to like really organize and, and arrange of, on how to get my birth certificate, get a certificate of good conduct and get my passport in time so that they can start the bookings. This was an actual professional shoot for a big brand. I tried to do my thing according to what I understood they wanted, but yeah, I couldn't deliver and, and these other makeup artists took over. That changed my perception about my makeup skills. That's when I quickly realized that I wasn't good at all <laughs> at makeup. These things are not cheap. You have to invest in a, in a good makeup kit. The makeup kit doesn't come with makeup in it. If I was asked to evaluate my, my makeup kit or my makeup stuff right now, I would say it's anything between 700,000 and a million for what I do. It has to be like a proper makeup kit. People know Kobe as one of the most expensive makeup artists in, in Nairobi. I highly doubt that I'm expensive. I, I think I just know the worth of my work and I know how to evaluate my work because of how much work I've put into it, how much I've invested. If you're starting out, this is the time to get those opportunities to put your work out there, to practice. I was given those lines like, we'll give you exposure. Next time we're going to call you for, for jobs, which they never did. You get people who would tell you they'll pay you, but they end up not paying you. I think I developed a tough skin and told myself that there's an opportunity for me to practice and to put Kobe's name out there.
when I was in beauty school, there were so many units you taught. Massage was also one of the units. I think I had a secret love for. I think 10 years later, I was like, maybe I could also add this into my, into my craft. So I decided now to just diversify and, and see where it takes me. It's been tough, I think, for every, everyone business-wise and just work-wise. Shoot short snippets of, of what I do and just put it out there so that people can know what Hands of Kobe has to offer and make the most out of it. 